I've got a Mopar 400 block here, and it's got two stuck pistons in it. But it's a great block, it's in good shape, I just need the block. So I'm going to take you all on a journey on how to get stuck pistons out to save your block. What this is, is uh, it's a bucket of automatic transmission fluid that I've used numerous times to unlock four speeds. And uh, I find it works better than penetrating oil. And so I'm gonna pour some automatic transmission fluid in these cylinders to try to get it to seep down past in here, see if I can't get these loosened up without heat yet. You can't be afraid of making a mess, because it's going to make a mess. And I'm going to have to try to rock this back a little bit to get her a little straighter. Put a 4x4 four four under there, because uh, that way it'll be a fairly soft. When I start whacking it, it's going to be fairly soft. I don't have to worry about damaging the block. A little bit more than that one. Oh, that worked out perfect. Now we'll let that sit for a few minutes and see if she can't seat down a little for us. Well, here it goes. I've got an old axle tube out of a truck in here. I've got it centered on the piston. I've made a mark on here so I can see if it moves or not. And I'm going to use the side of the, the hammer because it's a tube. So. Looks like she's moving. I want to make sure I'm not at the bottom of the cylinder. I don't want to break nothing out of here. I'd say that one moved. Okay, I've got her to move that way on that one. So we're going to move over to this one. We're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to try to push them out the other way. That's going to be the hard part. I'm going to hold this here so she don't rock. And I forgot to make me a little mark. I think it's done move too. Let me give her another one.
extra pair of hands would be awesome on this. <laughs> but I just want to get her to move, and then I want to hit her from the other side. I'm double check, make sure these rods aren't going to cause me any issues. That one loosened up. That one's still pretty tight. So I'm going to hit her one more time, but it looks like this one's moving too. Now we just got to hit her the other way, and she should come right out. Yep, she moved. Okay. So I've got them both to move that way, that way, a little bit. Now it's time to flip the block over and push them back out the other way. This one's not going to be too bad because she's she's further down in the cylinder, so I'm, I'm going to be able to get to her really easy. This one's way down here, and I'm not really 100% sure how I'm going to go about that one. I took the main caps off so I wouldn't damage them. Both sides of the both sides of the rod off, and then we're just going to slide this baby down over it, down into the piston. Make sure she's not hitting anything that is going to be it's going to hurt the block at all. So we want to position it in a way that it can't hit. It's not hitting anything. It's hitting anything over here? Yeah, I think we're good like that. Right? Good to me. Anything? Now we got to be careful because we don't want to hit this, so we're going to have to be a little bit more ginger with it. And I guess I better reposition this camera so you can see what I'm doing. And here we go. Hopefully, we won't have to hit her as hard because she's already moved a little. Not doing nothing good, nothing bad, I mean. So far, so good. Get kind of close to this block, though, so we're getting a little bit nervous. Right. I'm getting a little short here, so I don't want to go any further. I'm going to get something else to hit it with. But whoo, that was, she was in there. So, uh, but she moved quite a bit. And I'm going to have to get some kind of, something a little smaller and put it down in there a little bit longer. Got a piece of round stock, and she's loose enough now, where I'm just using the round stock to pound with. Have you ever had one of those days where, right at the last, or watch one of those movies where right at the last second, when the most climactic moment happens, Commercial? Well, worse happened. My camera shut off right as that piston was coming out. So I did get her out. And here she is. I was like, woohoo! Looked up and the camera was off. I was like, no! So we still got another one though, so I got the camera plugged in this time. Unless the power goes out, we should be good. Uh, I'm going to have to find a different way to cut through this rod. And uh, I might try it with the rod and a piece of wood just so we don't damage the block. But we got this one out without incident, and we're going to go for the other one now. Well, I don't know if it's going to be big enough. I've got a two and a half pound sledge. I've got a bigger one if I need it. I'm going to try and do it with this. Sounds like it's moving. 
It's out of there. Go, folks. Two very, very stuck pistons. No longer stuck at all. Now this block can go on down the road. Get her fixed. Get her bored out. She's ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe. Many more like this to come. Appreciate y'all.